of the most well-known phobias today is acrophobia, the fear of heights. We all have a certain anxiety when exposed to heights, although some of us much more than others. Fiso Schilknicht has had an extreme fear of heights for as long as he can remember. I lose the function to be able to breathe, so I just, like, I freak out. Like, I just hold my breath and I hold everything that I can hold and you get that, you know, roller coaster feeling in your stomach where everything just goes, you know, upside down. I kind of lose all control of my limbs, so everything turns to jelly. His whole life, Fisa has been trying not to let his fear stop him from doing what he loves. He goes rock climbing and travels by plane, and even though it terrifies him, he says he will never give in to this phobia, he will not let it damage his life. So challenging himself has become a habit for Fiso. One of the hardest things he ever did was going up the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is just um, like a grid of iron steps going all the way up, uh, which obviously you can see all the way through. But I think every situation I've been in, there has been some sort of railing or some sort of safety net you know, that has made it safe. The experiment we have prepared for him today is not entirely safe. We will take him out to an open terrace on the highest level of a 40-storey building, 40th floor and nothing but glass railing to hold on to. Fiso will be trapped in a world of his fear. Once we come out into the terrace, Fiso grabbed the rails and spread his legs far apart. His anxiety wouldn't decline throughout the whole interview. I feel really unstable. <laughs> I can actually feel the whole building moving, like it's, it's that bad. I feel like I've got to hold everything I can. My stomach's all up in my chest. I can feel my heart racing at the moment. Um, I guess that's all adrenaline. I feel like I've, I, it's like flight and fight mode. I'm ready to run indoors. <laughs> Fiso says he will probably never be able to overcome his fear completely, but facing his phobia by making these little steps is what makes him believe he has control over it. It's important to realise that no matter how terrifying, we can always learn to control our deepest fears. It all comes with practice, persistence and belief.